Hey, everybody. Kelly here, the Ninja Maniac. I got something good for you. If you are, and by the way, I've got a friend of mine, a real good friend of mine, Colin Chiat, up in Canada. <laughs> hey, Colin, real quick. Is it cold right now up there? We're frozen, Steph. I speak to you it's like 80 from in the Florida. inside of my heated home. Ice on the driveway and snow four feet high. Jesus. I envy you, Kelly. Hey, man, I'm going to be outside later today mowing my yard in some, some skinny shorts and no shirt. Don't get a visual on that. But anyway, let's go back to why I have invited Colin on here. You know, agents, that I always try to bring you guys value. And I also try to bring you guys some strategies that will help you. One of the issues that agents have is, and most of us, this is really for those of you with a CRM that have a lot of leads in your CRM. When we generate, let's say, a Facebook campaign, and we do it for several months, we generate a lot of leads. There are going to be a lot of leads, a percentage where you're missing information, right? Um, and it's going to hamper your ability to convert these leads because you're not able to get your message into a vehicle to their face. How many of you have generated leads, like a home evaluation lead? And maybe you get an address, just an address and nothing else. Well, got some good news for you. If you have a CRM, Colin Chiat's team at Real Tech have cracked the code on how to fill in the missing pieces of information so that that lead is now an actual lead that you can communicate with. So Colin, just briefly, what are you guys doing if an agent says, okay, I'm interested, what does that agent need to do? And then what are you doing with that agent's potential leads? So Kelly, um, the idea here is to mine your CRM for hidden gold. Okay. All of these leads come in and without all the information that you need to contact or market to them, they're absolutely useless. Worse is you you pay good money for this. Yeah. And that's the real killer. You paid money. You're not getting things that you want to get. Our system recovers all their missing information. But better yet, not only does it recover the missing information, once we've done that, we give you multiple strategies all done for you that you can go out and market to these folks and then you can start closing. But more importantly, it will also give you the ability to pre-qualify these leads before you waste your time contacting only to find out they're not really ready to buy or sell a home. Yeah. So our system sifts and sorts so that you can contact your hotter leads first. And Kelly, it. you know, one of the things you mentioned was Facebook. Yeah. So just an interesting story on a Facebook uh, campaign that we've done for a client. Um, he sent out a campaign to a specific audience and it was the results were absolutely insane. He was so excited and you should get real excited on this and everybody that's watching. When you do Facebook, typically you get three, four, five percent return. People look at it and you hope and pray that you can do something with them. This particular agent got over 75 percent that returned and watched his material. That's insane. We've now, Colin, you, you and I were talking it. about this. And what one of the things that that when you shared this with me, I didn't even think about this strategy. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on this video. Guys, if you go below the video at the end of this video, just keep watching. Colin has a webinar that will show you how this system works, guys. And it's worth the watch because some of you have gold. We call it mining your CRM for hidden gold where there's gold in them dar hills. But one of the strategies that Colin shared with me blew me away. And there's very little that blows me away because I've been doing this for over 20 years. I am a marketing expert and I see a lot of things monthly that come through my desk. When he shared with me this one thing that this agent did, I had never thought about doing it because I didn't know if I could. And when he shared it with me, I was like, like, oh my God, I could have had a V8. So I'm not going to break that down on this video. You're going to have to go below and watch the webinar. But guys, I'm telling you right now, that one thing that he did was a freaking game changer. I never thought about doing it. Now, that's really what I want to be doing because it's getting me in front of the right type of prospect. So here's it. Here, here it is, Colin. If an agent has all these leads in their CRM and they're looking to increase their conversions, they've got to have the right data, correct? That's absolutely correct. And and, and what about, can your system take, let's say they, they upload a thousand of their older leads into your system. 
Can your system, without getting too crazy on this channel, can your system give them an idea of what type of niche they're in, in that de demographic audience? Like in that specific list, can you separate different types of demographic strategies so that my message can be tailored for whatever that demographic that they're in or uh, uh, whatever type of uh, message I need to send to them? Can your software break that down so I don't have to send a generic campaign to everybody? So Kelly, you hit the nail on the head. So first, let's call it part one. Okay, we recover your missing data. We give you all the information and that's great. Now, what do you do with it? Yeah. So our next phase is we actually segment all this data into audiences. And better yet, you will have the ability to segment based on your market. So values, uh, different demographics. You get to do it yourself. Click a button. It's really as simple as that and go. But you're in total control, Kelly. It's you do it, but it's, we automate it for you. It's kind of like this, Colin. If you go into a large neighborhood, let's say there's a thousand addresses. There's going to be four to eight specific niches in that one subdivision. You're going to have millennials. You're going to have financially distressed. You're going to have absentee homeowners. You're going to have 55 plus. You're going to have people that are move up buyers, move down buyers. You're going to have relocation buyers. So you can't just send a home evaluation ad to everybody there and expect that to actually perform. What you need to do is find out statistically, strategically, and demographically who you're talking to and develop that message. So guys, here, here it is. Video is going to end. So you got to go down and watch this guy's webinar. If you want to not only mine your CRM for the old leads that you have or the leads you've been generating that you're missing data, watch his webinar. I'll put the link below. Find out how to segment these audiences so that your message to market can now be powerful. If you're going to speak to a for sale by owner, you don't want to talk to that for sale by owner as if they're in financial distress. Hey, if your home is underwater, let's talk. That, that FISBA will throw that away, right? Yeah. The same thing on a for, uh, on a financial distress. You don't need to talk to them about mo being a move up seller because chances are they're going to lose their home. They can't get credit. I think you guys see what I mean. You've got to segment your message to your list. So watch it below. And I see this man's beautiful face. It's what about a 20, 30 minute tops webinar. Yeah, we've got, yeah, we've got a couple. So we're going to show you some very specific things and then take you to the next phase into the full blown I get you all excited, but if I can share one more nugget before we Please. end up here, Kelly. Uh, first of all, you mentioned something very important, but the most important thing, folks, here is your message and your marketing has to be relatable to the audience that you're targeting. So most of you, and this goes by what the agents that I've been talking with, and Kelly, I'm sure you can back me up on this. This is not a one message fits all type of system. As Kelly said, you know, no use sending a home valuation, uh, a marketing piece to somebody who's about to lose their home or things of that nature. Uh, they already know where they're at. Now, yes, I'm getting one more nugget and then I'm done. Okay. Uh, this is going to be really exciting. So in your CRM, you've got hundreds of thousands of leads. You really don't know anything about them. Here's a nugget. We're going to show you how you can connect the leads within your own CRM with each in, with each other. Think about multiple commissions, Kelly, multiple, multiple. So just to give you a sneak preview, and then I'm really am done here. <laughs> we talk about identifying distressed sellers, but hey, we also have investors sitting in your CRM. You just don't know it yet. Yeah. We're going to be able to mine all of those folks and give you the information so that you can put them together and earn multiple commissions. Kelly, I've done others. I can go on forever. I'm so excited. I'm telling you, I can spend an hour with you on this topic because it's marketing, but it's strategic marketing. But anyway, guys, that's it. Went a little bit longer than what I wanted. Go ahead and look in the description. I'll put it towards the top. There's the link in the description and I will pin it in the comments. Check out Colin's webinar and look on how you can turbocharge your existing leads. You can mine your CRM for hidden gold and then you can adopt strategies that are specific to the...
Most of you don't even know in your CRM right now, you probably have a list of multiple and many different niches inside of your CRM that you're not even aware of. Well, his, his software, their program will not only identify those, they will inform you of what those are so your marketing can actually start converting at a high rate. That's it. Guys, look at the link below. Colin, thank you for joining me. Yeah, and guys, as always, you. I'll see you on the next video.